Hey guys, welcome to dev vlog number seven for my survival MMO. Sorry I haven't been able to upload a video in a couple weeks. I've just been extremely busy. Uh, for those of you in America, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And uh, I have a few changes to show you guys. So first, of course, I want to make mention that um, you can go to the website wizardy.com and I posted a full dev blog on here. Now there's not a lot of changes, well I mean really there is, but not as much as <laughs> last week. I, I did a whole bunch of stuff in the last dev blog, but there are some pretty significant updates in this dev blog. For one, uh, this little part right here, I added a whole new movement system, so now there's there's collision, uh, everything's very smooth, It's 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 pretty... Uh, tight. I mean, it, it works very, very well. I did some changes to base building. Uh, when you're placing uh, items on, on the ground, it will now cost resources. Uh, so that's pretty good because basically that allows me to uh, to go on to, to crafting because I can now remove like wood or metal or any type of item from the player's inventory. And then the big thing I want to show you, uh, well pretty big, it's the start of something big. Uh, let's start the server. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let me let me let me reset the server. I added this new command. And that'll just clear all the files. So let's go ahead and start the server and let's log in and you'll be able to see that we have we have animals now. Look at that, little chickens. They can walk on water. They you know, they can do miracles like that. Uh oh, yep, sheep just came out of nowhere. So there are now NPCs in the game, and this is just the start of something very cool. So we have right now farm animals, so all over, kind of scattered on the map. I have a lot of them spawned in right now. There are sheep, chicken, pigs, and cows. Let's see if we can find them all. Uh, there's the sheep. Okay, there's the cows. Oh, and there's a pig over there. So like I said, I have a lot spawned in. But basically all they do right now is kind of walk around and they might stop every so often to uh, to eat. So that's all they really do right now. But it, like I said, it's the start of a whole NPC system. Um, and really the next thing I can focus on is overhauling the combat, which is something I wanted to do, but I needed something to attack. I needed something to hit. So I th thought, you know, let me just add some farm animals or something and I can go around and kill these guys. So. I plan to add a lot of functionality to the to the farm animals. Uh, for one, I want you to be able to tame them. Um, I, I would like people to be able to get certain uh, items from them, kind of like you get from the resource nodes. Well, I'd like people to, to need uh, like cows for milk and chickens for feathers and eggs and uh, pigs for meat, you know, stuff like that. Maybe, maybe the sheep you know, will give wool, which you can use to craft other items. So they'll be pretty useful in the game. But even more so, I'd like uh, to add the ability to tame the, the different animals, take them back to your base, breed them, uh, make more of them, and all that good stuff. So I have some pretty big plans for them. And, uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what it all, what it all uh, turns into. Uh, but like I said, it's the first step to the NPCs and the first step to overhauling the combat because right now you can't attack them or kill them or anything. That'll be phase number two. So, let's go ahead and add some items. Let's put some clothes on. That's 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 probably appropriate. Um, let's see. I think, I think I've done a few changes to building. I, I did add this hammer, which doesn't do anything right now, but it will do some things in the future. Okay, so now for for uh, base building, I, I want to say this first. Last video was amazing. You guys had some awesome suggestions and comments. Uh, I'm not going to say much more about the base building. I will in the future, uh, but I, I have some pretty big plans for that and for the direction of this game in general. Uh, so right now I can't place anything. I can't place foundation. I can't place walls, and that is because I now have to have wood in my inventory to... Uh, to be able to build. So let's go ahead and chop this tree. And uh, of course I'm going to be working on, on all of this pretty shortly. Oh, look at that. Another tree already spawned. That's always great. So let's get some wood. And uh, now we can start placing some foundations down. And you can see it, it's actually charging me. Uh, it's taking some resources out of my inventory every time I place something down. So we can place some walls. And the other thing that I added this uh, this update is the ability to break the wall. So I have an axe in my hand right now. I can go up to the wall and I can ch 
chop at it. And if I hold Alt, or wait, Control? Yeah, if I hold Control, it'll actually show me the hit points of the walls. So that's uh, 3 uh, out of 10. Uh, 10 is the max hit points. So, you know, I can see the hit points, so that's kind of nice. But I can only see it if I'm close. So that'll be useful, so you can basically go up and see the, which walls are weak, and then attack different walls uh, if you're going to raid or something. So I'll expand on that as time goes on. So there we go. We can now destroy walls. I think there's a way to heal them. Yeah, okay. So we can, there, there's the ability to heal them. But it's going to take, again, wood from your inventory to be able to do that. So, okay, so that, that, that's pretty good, you know. Um, oh yeah, yeah, a little, little glitch on the server there. So if he tries to walk up, he's gonna, it's going to throw him back down. Um, I'll fix that later. On the server, it still thinks there's a wall there, but uh, there's not. So anyway, also, yeah, of course, we have a new movement system, so uh, I'm not going to walk through the walls or anything. I'm going to slide around and all of that good stuff. And just before I end the video here, all of this syncs together. So if we log in Rahibith, um, again, he's pretty naked right now, isn't he? Uh, if we log in Rahibif, we go over here, he's going to see Wizardy, and he's also, of course, going to see all the barnyard animals. Kind of make this window smaller. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, they're going to agree on everything that they see, so, um, I think I got, anim no, animations are a little bit messed up, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you know, they're, they're going to see about the same thing. You're gonna see where the animals are and all of that good stuff. All right, so um, I, th I think they'll also see if I, yeah, if I chop this wall down. I wonder if he'll see it. Yeah, he'll see it too. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, both clients see that. Can I still attack him? Oh, I can. That still works too. You know, when you do so much coding, you 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 think after a while, like, did something break? So you can see Rahibif lost some health as Wizardi's hitting him with an axe. So I think I'd do more damage if I use a sword. I'm just interested in this. I haven't messed with this for a while. So, and I'm about to overhaul the combat. So let me just see. Two, three. Oh, I killed him. And it, <laughs> it only shows half his body. Okay, well, there we go. So he's dead. Let me respawn. Oh, now he's jumping around. You gotta love the glitches. I know what that is. Uh, he just like teleported back here. So, anyway, I didn't mean to show up, show off all the glitches, but it's all very easily fixable. Go to the website wizardy.com. Check out the dev blog. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/wizardy. Uh, leave a like and a comment if uh, if you like what's going on, and uh, I will see you guys next week.